What's up guys, it's Brad from Redesign. You know I love 3D printing. Some people say it's not very functional though, but I say it's so functional. Okay, okay, okay. More like chair functional. Today I want to see if we can 3D print a chair. Is 3D printing functional enough to seat me? We'll find out today, let's get to it. First, I went ahead and made a model of the chair in Fusion. Of course, I'm not the first one to attempt something like this, but I did try to make mine a little bit unique. One of the best parts of the model is that it's all tied together by these variables. So that way, if I want it to be a little shorter or a bit shallower, I can just type the new dimension in and it will generate the new design with hopefully no errors. The model has four basic sections, the 3D printed parts, the inch diameter wooden dowels, the one by three wooden strips and the cloth parts. So now all these parts are printing out, I'll go ahead and start cutting up some of the materials. Nothing can ever go just as planned. As of right now, these prints don't quite fit on the dowels. Yeah. So we're gonna try and fix that with some boiling water. Ah. Hey, Fits like a glove. Be fine. Put some cool water on it, and it did. Wow, I'm so pleasantly surprised right now. Then I just did that again with every other print. All right, here goes nothing. Always seems to work for the other guys. <sighs> Guess I don't have enough subscribers yet. That's never coming out. together like we'd like I'm gonna make a nice seat out of some MDF scrap that I have now I just have some strips I don't have a board this big so my plan is to lay them all out on here cut them out to size and glue them together and make a nice seat let's do it so on second thought I just have like a few pieces of scrap that are long enough to go across here and gluing's a bee especially when all you have is one clamp so I'm just gonna run to the depot and grab me a bigger piece of MDF. All right, so I moved out here to the front room because I have a lot more room. I actually decided to buy a piece of particle board instead of MDF, mainly because it was cheaper. Anyways, so the plan is to use this half inch sheet of particle board, cut it to this shape, and then I'll probably put a piece of MDF underneath it just to strip along the middle to give it some strength. So let's get to it. So on second thought, I brought us back into this room. That's because all I have to cut this thing with is a router. That's not the most ideal tool, but given that we're using particle board, I think that having it cut in a circle through it instead of cutting up and down like a saw blade would, it'll leave less tear out and make it look a little better. Plus, that thing makes a ton of sawdust, so I don't want to do it out in the front room because my wife will be not happy. So anyways, let's get it done.
Hmm. I've been pondering so long because now I have to figure out what I knew would be the hardest part of this whole build. And that is how to attach these legs to the sides of the base. You see, the side pieces go at angles into the leg pieces. But because the 3D printed parts are there, it covers them up so I can't screw them into each other directly while holding the right angle. So I need to figure out a way to hold that angle, screw them together, and make it all nice and sturdy. Because as is, these legs just slide up and down in this. But I think I figured out how to do it. A few moments later. And that's the last screw in. See how this one fits. All right. Last, we have to add the cloth parts, starting with the upholstery. Off camera, I glued this inch thick piece of foam on top of the seat. All we gotta do now is trim it up and add this thinner piece of foam on top of it. After trimming that piece as well, we can flip it over and start cutting our material for the top. Once that's all nice and flat, we pull out our staple gun and start putting in staples. And it's a lot of staples. Now all we have to do is trim the excess. And we got ourselves a seat. Now onto the backrest. Should look something like this. Do some cutting and sewing later. Now we have a final product that looks like this. started except for now I have this super dope chair anyway there's still some things I want to finish about it I need to put some finish on the wood and I also want to round off the bottom of the legs just to look a little nicer but besides that it's functioning look it's on my way no tricks what was I gonna if you guys like this video feel free to subscribe right down below this and leave a like comment if you will why you love this chair so much yeah great having you thanks for watching Absolutely killing it, bro.